Previously on Persona 4 Golden, Nico died that day. So close to the end of the game. He never did get to see those credits, or the true ending of the game. He died from Nanako's true love. I was never heard from again. And now back to Japanese high school. Take some rest, you managed to recover your health. Soft lies pouring in from outside. Oh, and I gotta go to the bathroom! She hurried to school. Lou, Lou, Lou. Morning. Oh, Nico, good morning. Good morning. How you go? The weather's great today, even a little warm, don't you think? Hmm. I saw in the news that the official, first official spring storm was observed this morning. Spring is just around the corner, huh? Hmm. Spring, huh? Everything went by so fast. Yeah. What's up? Hey, everybody, what's going on? Hmm. Oh, nothing. We're just talking about how spring's almost here. Then Nico Kumu. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. I tried to think about it. But hey, we still have some time. No gloomy faces until then. Yeah, that's that fun. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pack pack your brain so full of good memories, you'll, you'll beg us to stop. Beg us! <laughs> ah. Oh, shoot. Well, let's go. Let's go, man. Hey, wait for me! Alright, you go. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no, we're skipping to the end now. <laughs> oh good, we went uh, skiing again with Nanako. Yay! That, what the hell is that, Teddy? I made bear food! Oh good, we're gonna make ourselves our own chocolates. That won't kill me. Here you guys go. Nanako chocolates. Yeah. Everybody say cheese! Hey. No! <laughs> Ow, I'm too cool to smile. Aw, oh, is this the end? Oh, here we go. 319. Oh. Oh no, putting my stuff away. You finish packing. You'll be returning to the city in two days. Oh, it's so sad seeing my room bell packed up now. You decide to rest for today. Man, I don't want to go home. Another beautiful day, Inaba. Spring has once again come to Inaba. Dejima Residence. March finally the day you will be part. It will part with everyone. All done packing. Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Don't forget all my big bag full of weapons. Can I go answer the door? Oh yeah, that's right. Sure, go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Yeah, we already got a dot you little weird ass. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. Oh, man. It's the last day you'll be spending in this town. Just wander around for a while. Are you going out? Be careful. Okay. Yeah, what you have, a package? I'm gonna go talk to my... Social links or something. 
Did I do that in Persona? I think I did that in Persona 3 also. Oh, hey! You're here. You're back. My. My, Nico chan My, my, what a coincidence. We really are connected by fate. Seriously, on my last day here, how'd you know I was gonna be here? Shall we talk like old times? Nah, all right, not right now. Goodness, sure. I am uh, so happy. Yeah. I just went to visit my husband's grave, and then I came to look at the river like I did last time. <laughs> Next thing I know, here you are. There's a, there's a surprise. I live with one of my kids and my grandchild now. They're all so kind. I just realized I almost never talk about my kids with you. I know, I haven't even met them. I probably distanced myself from the rest of my family. I was afraid that if I didn't, I was going to depend on them. They're living their own lives. I didn't want to be a burden on them. So I wanted them to forget about me, treat me as if I was dead. But they welcomed me, and now we live together. They take care of me, but I'm taking care of my grandson. <laughs> so there's a little bit of give and take there. Aww. There really is a place in the world where I belong. I just assumed that there wasn't one. They're my children, my family. I regret that I didn't talk with them before. My husband's death must have been sad for them too. After all, they lost their father. Are you happy now? Yes. Very much so. So happy right now, but because of that, I feel sad every now and then. I can't help but think. He must have wanted to feel this happiness too. So I've decided that the best thing I can do is live a long, happy life. I'll make the rest of my life as great as it can be. Then I'll tell my husband about it when I see him again. Then we'll have all of the journey to, stay, to, to be happy together. I'm not afraid anymore, just a little lonely. Hey, you still got me. You can come visit me whenever you want. I also have to tell him everything that happened in town, too. About this whole crazy year, those awful murders, and how the police solved the case. I'll definitely have to tell them all about you, too. I know, it's just kind of look like him, right? So I must, he must be dashingly handsome. I recently realized something. Precious things remain precious, whether you're alive or dead. <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to all my long-winded monologue. You look like you still have things left to do. You look like you've grown up a lot, amigo John. You're much more handsome now, too. Ooh, thank you. Not as handsome as my husband was, though. I'll see you again. Well, then, take care of yourself. You still have a lot of life ahead of you. Hey, thanks, old lady. I love you, too. Feel the spot for disarming yourself. Disarm left without looking back. Aw. I liked that social language. That was a very... Very touching one. Brother, you sure close by with. I should go say goodbye to them. Oh, Bertie, say I want to go. Oh. No, Crow! Damn it. Sorry, you didn't max out my social link. We can't hang out anymore. But Crow, I tried. I tried. Sorry, you didn't try hard enough. You obviously had to see me on the third Wednesday of October, where only life is reading and your game playing time was exactly 55 hours, 45 minutes, and 43 seconds. Any later or earlier than that, it would have been gone. You would have maxed out got the ultimate persona and ultimate weapon. Ah, oh, damn it. You missed out, Nico. You missed out! Damn that gross. Go to the food court? Oh, there he is. Yo, Nico. Sensei, I'm super duper happy you came to see me. We're around saying goodbye, huh? What would you think of the sleepy, peaceful version of Inaba? It seemed weird to you. I wonder why it began just as why it began just as you arrived here. I remember that first time, Sensei, you escaped right into the TV world alone. Boy, I feel so nostalgic. I know, Teddy, you little weirdo. Ever since then, it was just another one, one, another, just one surprise after another. Hmm. I can't imagine how it's gonna be like living here without you. 
Buy a peaceful town with no need to use our personas anymore. I can't imagine it either! Holy fuck, we're gonna be bored as hell! Well, at least there's the spin-offs, Teddy. At least there's the spin-offs. That's true! I'm gonna be in a Dance Dance Revolution game! <laughs> oh, god damn it, Teddy. That's right, we were right in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. A lot of stuff's happened. Facing my true self, and you and me got into a fight, too. Yosuke, did you smack Sensei? Oh, how reckless! Of course, moron. Best friends gotta fight, so I to be best friends. It's alright, I kicked his ass. I kicked kick his ass, Teddy. Hell yeah, Sensei! You the, you the man! Why didn't you say so earlier? Sensei, bring it all, let's fight! <laughs> ah! <laughs> don't, don't hurt him, man. He's gotta get on the train tomorrow. <laughs> Teddy, Teddy just runs into me and bounces off and lands, <laughs> lands on his back and he's that little wobbly thing where he can't get up. Aw, <laughs> oh, Teddy, I love you too. <laughs> Sensei, you're really leaving, huh? I'm glad I met you and Yosuke. You two completely changed my life. Not a job you could try the others too. They all helped me. They gave life to me. Life? Life? Come on, man. The ones you want... You were the ones who wanted to change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tete Yosuke! Aw, you're welcome, Teddy. I'm glad we ran into you inside the TV. And not just another crazy monster that tried to murder us. I love you! Aw. Love is kind of strong. <laughs> oh, I love when Teddy does his little celebration thing. Yeah, I'll take off my... Off my outfit if you want. Oh yeah, baby. Not wearing anything under here. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> no, Teddy. God dang it. I swear to God, if you don't stop trying to molest me when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Let's just feel a song bomb between you, Yusuke, and Teddy. Aw. By the way, is it okay for you to chill here? Maybe somewhere to go? Like, meeting someone? <laughs> Do you want Teddy to come with you? <sighs> no, I think Teddy has to work. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum wage sucks! Where is he sure close bomb with? Oh, I'm gonna miss those guys. Oh, this is sad. So I know there's like a normal ending and a true ending, but I, have I missed it already? I, have I missed my chance? I'm, I'm hoping I haven't yet. Oh, can I... I want to go. Oh, I can go to the Imagi Inn too. Alright, let's go to... Let's go to the municipal hospital, although I don't think is Yoko gonna be there? I can only do- I'm only going to the ones that I've actually finished all the way, I believe, right? Go to the municipal hospital. You ever hear two nurses talking? I heard about two hops, son. Wow, I came in at just the right time, apparently. She's talking about Siyoko. She joined some volunteer organization and went to Africa. Africa? I never thought she'd be the kind of person who would go there. Well, she seemed to be taking her job really seriously towards the end of her time here. She even studied during the break. You remember when we were talking? Talking about the rumors of the Midnight Channel. She wasn't interested at all. Oh, I remember those rumors, but not that I, not that I know where they started. But yeah, now that you mention it, <laughs> we Harp's song was never around when we were chatting about them. She was studying some foreign language, wasn't she? She was trying to learn English and some African languages. She read a lot of, a lot of medical books. I see, but why Africa? Why'd she join a volu Why'd she join a volunteer organization? What's the point? I'd rather marry a guy, raise kids, and make babies, maybe. An ordinary housewife. That's what I used to think too, but I but watching her horse her horse on kinda of made me feel different about it. See she did seem to have a boyfriend though. A very young one too. <laughs> young African boyfriend, baby. Oh yeah, baby, I'm a piece of chocolate here. <laughs> oh, Sioko. Never stop being crazy horny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, baby, I won't. Oh, must have been that kid who was working mm. here part time. I don't know the details, but she seemed to have really have mean something to her. She must told me that she was trying do her best to live up to him. Do her best, eh? I feel I have to try. I feel I have to try harder too. Man, this is a, what a coincidence! I end up walking in right when this shit was getting talked about. So, so yeah, I'm starting to see where she was coming from. Let's get back. Go back to work and do our best. I feel like we've all learned something today. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go on a smoke break. Seems as Yoko is working hard in a foreign country. This Yoko is gone. Her life here, here has changed people for the better. Close bond between Yoko and yourself. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna go back into town. Who's your share bomb with? 
What are you waiting for? Alright, let's get the Imagi in. I really, I've really been here and actually see Yukio in her element. Will it? Oh, there she is. Imagi in. Welcome to. Hmm? Oh, Nikiku, that's right, you're leaving tomorrow. Thanks for coming to see me before you leave. I'm very happy. It means a lot to me. I, I was thinking of spending today as just another day. I'm with the housework, taking a long bath, and going to sleep. So I can. I can say goodbye without crying. Aww. But I feel miserably. I kept thinking about you. On top of that, here you are, right in front of me. You're, you're not helping at all. Aww. You're so mean. That's it. I'm leaving town with you tomorrow. That. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. For oh, now. Oh. Now, after I decided to stay here and become the manager, I realized how afraid I was. Whether I can meet all the responsibilities. I'll be able to support the whole staff on my own. I never thought of things like that. But I've made my decision. Now I have to make an honest attempt at it. I'll do my best to overcome that. Overcome the fear. You'll be in my heart while I do need you. We'll be together, even when we're apart. I also won't turn away from my problems and fears. Now I'm going to meet every challenge head on, no matter how hard it seems. Remember what Menasugiri Menis said? Man can so wish that I will return any time. That's not what I wish for. I'll face myself, no matter what happens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will always love you. I love you too, Yuko. You'll solve problems for you, Yuko. Um, well, I, I should get back to work. I'll see you later. See you tomorrow. Oh. This is sad. This is making me sad. I want to leave. I this game have to end. There's a sure close bond with Just gonna say goodbye to him. Okay, Crow. We're gonna do this. We're gonna bond, alright? This is it. This is the last one we can do this. No. No, you missed your chance! I told you before! Just a little. Just careful. Careful. Ah, oh, no! No! Well, Nikakun, you caught me off guard, huh? Well, I was just thinking of you and you suddenly showed up. He's laughing, embarrassed. Tomorrow's the day, huh? I thought a lot about you, and I, I decided to come here. I was thinking, well, what can I do for you? And I feared crying or feeling sad about you wasn't leaving. What well, leaving wasn't it? So make my mind. I'm gonna show you what we've taught. You taught me. I bought a book. <laughs> it's called How to Become a Police Officer. I told you I wanted to become strong so I could protect what matters most to me, right? Well, I want to protect this town. Oh, that's cool. I worked hard to win this piece. I want to keep it this way. You can't be certain with no incident like this will ever happen again, right? <laughs> Gia, you're like level 96 or something. Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to kick whatever comes in here as ass. It's where all my best friends are. It's where I met you. So I thought maybe I'd become a cop and have Jojima san put me through the, wi the ringer. Gia's fine cheerfully. Let's go home, proud. We'll be fine here. Oh man, I didn't want to cry. Still type on with Gia. You still say goodbye to everyone else, right? Go ahead, go. He's smiling sadly. Look your bond. She goes say goodbye to them all. Oh. What's up, Margaret? Oh, hello. That's right, I could bleed your social link too, you didn't I? You have come. I was waiting for you. I wanted to see you before you left. Though parting words aren't what I have for you. Remember? The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. You know what action will shake both of our hearts? Goodbye, handshake. <laughs> A goodbye kiss, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, seriously? For us residents, I'm sure this is a sin. Now, close your eyes. Oh my god. Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. Oh, snap! Crackle pop, baby! Funny, I always thought Margaret looked considerably older than me, though. Right? I, I thought she was. Sweet. Mm. Oh my lord! <coughs> she even made a noise. Mm. 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 <coughs> GA is like staying right over there. <laughs> Yukiko comes out. Oh god. Margaret, um. Mm. <coughs> 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 Margaret! <laughs> You'll sob bomb between you and Margaret. 
like a really solid bond. Almost as solid as something else that's going on right now. Holy moly. Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. <laughs> I got lipstick on my mouth now. Will I ever see you again, I wonder? Well, well then, farewell. I'll see you in the spin-offs. Oh yeah. <laughs> There is a shirtless bomber. There's a Dido. She has no reason to come here anymore. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Wait, no! I want to go make babies in there now! Oh, Senpai! Where are you Where are you going? Can you see you? Senpai, no, that, that's... It's like you came to say goodbye. I'm not let, playing a lady. This will be the last time we meet. It does make me sad, though. I told you before, I'm right up returning to showbiz starting spring. Went to voice train today to prepare myself for that. See, I'm re, re myself with a new album that's gonna be a Dance Dance Revolution game. <laughs> Writing all the lyrics myself. Well, I got a D in composition, so they aren't exactly masterpieces. <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff's happened while I was on break. Big friends, dear friends, everyone's so nice to me. To express, express that to everyone who will listen. My deepest feelings, my own words. Ah, I'm scared. I'm scared of putting the real me out there for people to see. But I can't give in to that fear, right? Working hard for all of my fans out there. I'm gonna make a huge comeback. So wish me luck. Of course. <laughs> I've been so lonely. <laughs> Thank you, Senpai. I know that you'll be watching on the other side of the camera. I'll keep thinking that as I work. Let's watch you yourself, Reese. I'm back to Tunis now, and I feel like all these good, all these good memories of us. You will offer to appear in a commercial for Tunis, and you'll you'll all remember the times we have every time you see. And then we'll all feel a bit lonely afterwards. Senpai, see you tomorrow. See, I'll say goodbye and I won't cry. Oh, oh I'm pretty sure you probably will. <laughs> so glad that fog's gone. I mean, it's still foggy over in the other world, but it's clear blue sky over here. I can see you off in a happy note. I'll see you later. Sure oh, what the hell? Shoot, what the hell? <laughs> hey, look, I'm bonding with the crow. No, shoot, that's not fair. Come, come, you can do it, I can't. It's really cool. He said that since you didn't bond with him, he's gonna give me his ultimate power. <laughs> what? No! No! Damn it, Shu. Oh, Sensei. What a coincidence meeting you here. What are you doing? Saying goodbye to people. Goodbye? What are you talking about? I'm leaving town tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow? That's so sudden. I have a baseball game tomorrow. Oh, god dang it. Why did you tell me that sooner? I would have rescheduled. I want to see you off. She was panicking. I'm sure that's it's okay if you, if you can't come. Oh, okay. Then can I tell you something I've always wanted to say? I made a friend. He's in the store right now buying ice cream. Oh, cool. It's the guy who transferred here that I told you about before, remember? Oh, right, yeah. He's a fun guy and he's nice. He spoke up for me when I got suspended for cheating. I fixed him. I have other friends now. He should be about comics and video games. In return, I help him study. As we do our homework together. I never thought that fun was something you could do every, you could have every day. Instead of being afraid and running away, I should have just faced it head on. Sensei, thank you very much. Um, your tutoring was great. I really learned a lot. She smiles like the happiest kid in the world. We're very close to Shu. I'm gonna hit a home run tomorrow. I will go so far, I'll reach a train. <laughs> it crashes through the window and knocks me in the head. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> that shoe kid's got an arm on him! Please don't forget about me. If you're far away, I'll remember you too. I'm glad you came to this town. Me too, shoe. It's been scary for you, though. With, all, with those murders. Those only happened while you were here, huh? Ah, <laughs> you must have bad luck. Sensei, th thank you. <laughs> Aw. It's okay, buddy. I love you too, shoe. I was totally wrong about you. You are not Moshirige, and I'm close. I gotta say bye to Aya. Oh, you're D Daske and Q's voice name. Let's do it. <laughs> Their voices are so loud. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, huh? Ooh, huh? <laughs> what a coincidence. We were just talking about you. Why don't you just why don't you join us, man? Well, you see, we start talking about whether or not all the crazy stuff happened here was really all over. We're counseling each other about you leaving tomorrow. 
Why you gotta blow that stuff out? Oh, it's embarrassing, man. I'm too cool for to be sad about things. <laughs> I, uh, I'm sad too. You were my only good customer. Although you never did complete my meatball challenge. Well, whose fault was that, Aya? Huh? Why didn't you have it open when it was fucking winter time? Because there wasn't a rainy day. It was snowing. It doesn't count. That's fucking bullshit. You know it. Give me that meaty bowl. No, you can't have it. You're too. It's too late. Give me your meaty bowl. No. Yeah. yeah. To be honest though, I did want to see you one last time, but I figured you'd be too busy. I just gotta know you walk right in. It's like man. I was being thoughtful for nothing. <laughs> Damn it. It's your truffle moment with Kuandaske. Oh, while you're here, let me tell you, let me tell you something. After I graduate, I think I'm gonna go to college overseas. No, it doesn't sound like a blast, but I think it'll look good on my resume when I join the society, you know? I figure that'll help out the Ishijo family, too. Come on, you're not doing this for your family. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's all about me, baby. It's for my own sake. No, it's not for the family that took me in, because I'm their first son. I want to support the family in my own way. I don't mean that I need to be the head of the order in order to do that. That's, that's why I think it'll be it'd be cool to study overseas. I'm sure I'll learn, learn all kinds of things I couldn't overhear. <laughs> of course, Dusky's gonna be a loner. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucks to be you, loser. Uh, not really. No matter where in the world all of us are, it won't matter. We're just still friends, even when you can't see each other all the time. Damn. What? Shut up, butthead! <sighs> Those are some touching words, man. Like, wow, right here, in that place I think I call a heart. To tell you the truth, I had a hard time just thinking about how to start this conversation. I was even thinking about hope, hopping on the train, <laughs> on the train Nico will be on tomorrow so I could tell him all about it. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like, this is like a bad idea. Why, why don't we go get some ramen? <laughs> <laughs> um, Nico? You can go back and visit any time you want, man. I mean, seriously, all that... Dasuke's my only friend, he's a loser. <laughs> You're the only cool guy I know. This is your hometown now, too, you know. Feel a close bomb between you and Dasuke and yourself. I'm sure you got other people sick of your goodbyes, too. We can see you off tomorrow, but, uh, we'll always be friends. We'll always be friends, too. <laughs> hey, don't see my lines. I'll make you eat pickle bamboo shoes. Haha. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. I really sure close palm was. Go say goodbye to him. It's kinda of sad, like I feel like when I'm saying goodbye, I like feel like saying goodbye to this series, you know? It's like uh, it's, it makes me sad, you know? It's, it's like saying goodbye to a, a long, fun series. Like I mean this is definitely by far my longest series, and it's just like uh it's just Kinda of sad to see it coming to an end here. You're leaving you're leaving, aren't you? Leaving me behind? Stupid liar blockhead! I didn't even want you to save me and you did! And now you're doing this! I'm gonna be lonely. We'll meet again. Sorry, me too. We'll meet again. Of course we will. If we weren't going to meet again, I wouldn't let you go. Hey, I went out and got something to eat by myself. Those steak thingies, skewers. <laughs> steak skewers! <laughs> Whatever they're called. I, I can walk around town without your help. Walk to me to connect me to this world. It's kind of lonely, but I'm gonna explore the town without you. It's, I'm not scared anymore. If I don't take any steps forward, I won't learn anything. I'm gonna find out more and more about this outside world, and next time you come, I'll be showing you around. Marie is acting proud. Maybe happy when you said that you think that you like me. So even when you're not here, I'll manage my own. You better make sure you come back. Good time for you, Marie. See about everyone else. Right? No ways like that. I'll see you again. Thank you. Hey, Foxy. Come on down here. Come on down here and give me a big old hug. How's the Yume Shrine? Shrine appears seems to be prosper prospering as some of the objects are shimmering with a golden sheen. But damn, this place is pimping now. Don't see the fox. Perhaps it left. Aw. Oh, hello there. Oh, my lord. <laughs> What, what's a young man like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> Just checking out the badass golden stuff. I know, right? Shit's bitching. This place was bustling with visitors not too long ago, but these days you see less and less. What, you're telling me all the hard work I put in here was for nothing? No I was considering tearing the place down because someone stole money from the operatory box. Also, some fogs had taken up home here and they were gonna haul it off to the animal shelter. What? Too many rumors these days! <laughs> but I'm always here! I'm always listening! Remember that 
Worried about how the fog was making everyone sick. God, everyone's fucking bananas. Or the other one. What was it called? Midnight Radio! <laughs> Midnight Instagram! That was popular with the kids, alright. My friends and his friends were all into it. Funny, funny, I remember something like, kind of like that happening when I was a kid, too. What who starts these rumors? I remember when I had superpowers! Oops, I was forgotten. I was supposed to giving up some music, my grandson. Loo, loo, loo! Loo! Alright, bye bye. <laughs> that was weird. Wonder if the animal. The fox was taken to an animal shelter, as that old man said. Oh, man, I hope not. He's gonna leave the shrine. Aw. The press is watching you. Oh! Hey! <gasps> Oh, he's so good at jumping. Did I just see? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness, little baby foxes! And they got little scarves on too. Oh my goodness! Oh, look at that! Oh, I didn't realize you were a girl fox. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, you're so cute. Look at that, Dan. Oh, how did you get them all little matching little scarf things, huh? Where are you guys getting that? Where are you doing your shopping, fox? Fox and his children. Oh, Fox and I should be welcoming you. Oh, they, oh, they love me. Looks like, they look like they're doing fine. I'd be funny if they all start running in circles around me. <laughs> fox Atmos reminds you of the close bond you share with it. Oh, can I take him with me? I, I like the fox too much. Ooh, my new pet. Whoa, somebody, what are you doing here? I seem to be panicking for some reason. Can you talk with him? Nah, I'm gonna leave him alone. No, of course I am. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, hello, Nick Cocoon. Oh, you're leaving tomorrow. You know, Connie's been acting all sad and lonely lately. God, he's being such a weenie. Shut up, you bet. I told you not to speak to me that way. I will fucking kick your ass, Kanji. Bring it on, old lady. You want to make? You want to? You want to do this? All right, we're going down now. <laughs> anyway, have you told him about the handicraft class? Thank you for being such a role model for my son, Nick Cocoon. Come visit here any sometime, all right? Goodbye now. Well, that's it. That's all you gotta say to me after all the shit I did for you, lady. <sighs> Ugh, you didn't hear what she said, did you? Big sad, I'm leaving. Any craft class? Uh, see, a bunch of customers like those knitted mm -hmm. dolls we sold, and they asked me how to make them. So I'm uh, holding classes on how to do it. Oh, that's awesome. Laugh it up, why don't you? Laugh, don't laugh. Senpai. It was my decision, though. People want to learn. If I can teach them, you know, why not, you know? Come on, man. Kanji, you were fucking awesome, alright? I thought we'd already gone beyond being embarrassed about this shit. I I'm still kind of embarrassed, though. But, uh, it feels good to do something for other people. <laughs> uh, it's only because of you that I can face up to who I am, Senpai. Uh, thank you very much. I love you, Senpai. I love you, too. He has a refreshing smile on his face. He feels so bomb between you and Kanji. Uh, are you gonna say goodbye to the others later? I don't like this is the last time we'll see each other. What you mean? Just on the surface. Then well, we got the murder case thing for that. We put an end to that stuff, right? Now she's gonna slam her and the fog is all cleared up. So thanks to you, Senpai. Senpai, when you go back, don't turn back around, okay? See ya. I really share a close bond with. Come think you haven't. You've yet to say goodbye to Naoto. And I was always staying around at the first floor of the hallway of the classroom's pool. Oh, okay. I was thinking, I was like... I was like, wait, who do I have left? It's spring break, but school is open this Tuesday. Let's go. Oh, of course, I have Ayane to say, talk to as well. Oh, there's... Oh, and I... Oh, Nico, what's wrong? Get him extra homework, too? Well, that's not it. I was gonna go see you later. I came to see you. <laughs> oh, really? What a loser. Then, are you free right now? Do you remember this rooftop? You stopped me when I was thinking about jumping off. <laughs> yeah, you were fucking crazy. Back on it, that was pretty dumb. D! But I already decided that... If I can't have you, nobody can! And then she takes me up and throws me off the building. No! I really, really thank you, Nico. You stop it and you listen. Thank you. I was glad I was able to tell you that day before you left. Alright, know this soap opera. Get over here and make babies with me. She's just thinking of her spring break. When am I coming to your place, Nico? Contrary how I look, I'm actually very patient. I'm, I'm 
down for a long distance relationship, so don't worry about me, Miko. I've been thinking about the future lately. Not so much about college or jobs or anything like that. But I'll become a nicer person. You know, be less of a bitch to everybody. Does that sound like a weird goal? Yeah, it does. Good for you. Yeah, huh? <laughs> hey, I knew you'd understand. Now don't forget I got your testicles in my drawer. Alright, don't you ever forget that! You belong to me! Yeah, I know. <laughs> I I'm glad I met you. I don't know why I'd be like if I hadn't. I'll be fucking crazy still. Fucking crazy! Ah, oh, you're still crazy as my man I met you. Maybe I'd be totally into that midnight channel. Oh, it's bringing a bunch of rumors, too. I, I can never see that happening to me now. I must have went through a pretty drastic change. Why is being a smaller face? Let's bump you an eye on yourself. Uh, end of conversation. Uh, I'm so nervous saying all that. I've never done it before. Why don't you go say goodbye to your other friends? I'm sure they're waiting for you. Go ahead home. Extra class is over. I'm not gonna say goodbye, Nico. Goodbye. I'll see you later, Nico, alright? See you later, loser. <laughs> yeah, I spoke to everyone. Speak to them before you get the crap out of here. Ah, ha, ha, Hanako! What? This is your seat. I, I just got it wrong. Stop looking at me! You don't suspect me, do you? I'm not the one who put something in your shoe locker. It wasn't me! Your <laughs> feet dangling down. Lou, Lou, Lou. Nato. Oh, Senpai, do you have business at school too? That's right, you're leaving tomorrow. Say goodbye to your teachers? That's right. That's very kind of you. Then please excuse me. No, 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 no! No, not really. I have a little, little school to huh? Last look at the school, huh? Can, can I come with you? I I thought you were saying, I meant like, I don't know. <laughs> Usually everyone was, said was the confirmation was the first message. Can I come with you? has become so peaceful. Oh. Well, not, not that I'm disappointed. It's just that for me to remain here without you or a case to solve, I feel somewhat li listless. And this sounds awkward since we've already discussed it before and came to satisfactory conclusions that the reason for me being here has nothing to do with the case. Perhaps just your departure that's making me lonely. I apologize. I'm sorry I'm making trouble for you. I should apologize. Please, don't apologize. It's not your fault for moving home. This is probably the last time I'll face situations such as this in my lifetime. I'll remain here in Inibus, and by. Of course, from time to time, my services will be required elsewhere. But Inaba is my hometown now. I want to treasure the precious time I've spent with you, solving the case together. The Midnight Channel, Personas, Mena Sagiri. My duty is to stay here and get to the bottom of these mysteries. To be honest, the thought of it makes me a bit lonely. Don't forget about your time here. And don't forget about me. Please remember the time we spent together. I confess my love for you, and you accepted me for who I for who I was. The saw bomb between you and Anto. Aw. I miss you too. I'll leave the station tomorrow with the others. It's our last chance to talk, just the two of us. No, of course it won't be. I can go visit you anytime, vice versa. I'll be visiting you every single day, Nato. Senpai, do you have any other farewells to say? Or of me, I'll be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. I've spoken to everyone with the restaurant bar. You have yet to say goodbye to Aunt Yane. This is the, the band room, okay. Restaurant bar plug, enter. Neat. Yanni, what are you doing in here? <laughs> doop, 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 doop. <laughs> That's got my eye music room. Yeah, he's playing her trombone. Can you hold on for a second? This place is a mess. No, it's okay. I, the band had to practice for their performance at the entrance ceremony coming up. I decided not to call you, Nico Senpai. How much point anyway? Though. Why'd you do that? Because you're leaving tomorrow. I don't want to bother you if you were busy packing. Besides, I might have cried if I saw you there. Oh. Hey, I, I, you're gonna make me cry right now, not uh. uh Oh, hey, Yanni. Hey, why is it great that all fog is gone? I was worried that you'd leave without a without bad person to town since it's been so foggy ever since you got here. People were going crazy and murdering each other for a while. Yeah, it's true. I'm headed as bright as today, your last day. Hopefully, it won't be all foggy tomorrow. No, just kidding. Oh. I'm gonna 
guess I want to tell you, Senpai. You're a graduate. I think I'm about doing a study abroad programming music. The more I practice, the more fascinated with music I get. I was always trying to play better than I played before, but that's what music is about. It's about how you express it. So I try to express myself through music. But you know, when I, when I realized I had no feelings to put into it, I, I couldn't stand it. But I meant, I meant when I hand you that ticket, so I try to face it head on, and I practice a lot. Then I started to understand that every day is a fight against yourself. People, I guess, people fight against the person we were yesterday to become a better person today. Ever since I realized that, I figured I'd be playing music for the rest of my life. Aw. Senpai, I'll probably be halfway around the world two years from now. I won't cry when you leave. It'll be like practicing for when I say goodbye to this place. We separate, but... Senpai. My love for you won't change. I know, my love for you won't change either, Yane. My parents gave me their blessing when I told them I wanted to study abroad. They said I've been stubborn ever since I was born, and then nothing they could say they could say would change my mind anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I had no personality. This is truly your parents know you best. Yeah. Oh, I want to miss your little rosy cheeks, Yane. So, bye, I wish you the best of luck over there. Please come see me, wish me luck. Well, it's my turn to leave. I sure will, Yane. I don't know if I'm gonna see you in the spin-offs. Oh, it makes me sad. Ayana should totally be a fighting character in Persona 4 Arena. <laughs> she she smacks enemies with her trombone. And her big and her cantaloupe head. <laughs> Ayana say goodbye to you with her quick when a quiver in her voice. Oh, you'll chill close bombs to you and Ayana and yourself. Hi, Senpai. Is that everybody? No, who do I have left? Of Jujima and Nanako. Oh, alright. Wait, so, alright. Nah, <laughs> hey Nico, how are the goodbyes coming along? Did you see all your friends? All of them. Make sure you don't leave any regrets. Well, most of them. Let's see, do they all cry? Let me see your face. <laughs> Not you guys yet. Hmm. You look a lot more mature now. We've only been together for about a year, but kids grow up surprisingly fast. Oh, Nanako's so sad. Why are you, Nanako? Nanako, do you remember what we promised? Oh. Take care of yourself, big bro. Don't get sick. Th thanks. I'm sorry. You too, Nanako. Yep. Oh. Don't, don't look so sad, Nanako. We're all family, remember? It doesn't matter if we're apart. We can go see him when I get on vacation. We can talk about everything that's happened since we last saw each other, right? Hmm. Yeah. Big bro. Will you remember me? Oh, are you kidding me? I don't remember you forever. I'm never gonna forget my favorite nugget. You'll forget me. Of course I will. It's a promise. Oh. <sighs> oh. Oh, come on, don't cry. I'm not crying! I'm not! <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Guess all kids end up being pushed around by their parents. Same goes for you, Nico. Yeah, seriously, fuck my parents. They didn't call me one single fucking time I was here. Yeah, didn't I even check up and say, hey, how's it going? Not being murdered or something. You're not dead, are you? <laughs> well, I have been fighting shadows and shit like that recently. Okay, well, that thanks for. <laughs> well, thank <laughs> that's way more than we wanted to know. Bye bye. <laughs> Damn it. My parents suck. Nico, it wasn't all that long. I don't think to sit here, but I did enjoy your time here with us. I really do think of you as part of a f my family. I'm surprised my sister's kid would turn out to be such an upstanding young man. <laughs> Give Nanako a call sometime when you have a spare moment. Oh, a freaking course. I got you a speed dial, Nanako, and you too, Ododima. And you're welcome to come visit us anytime. I'll leave your room just like it is. This is your second home, you know. Aww. Oh, that's so sad. Feel so bumped to Dejima and knock on yourself. I grew up. I want to marry you, big bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> you're a stud, Nico. Sure, Nanako. If he's still available by the time you're an adult. Oh. Then that'll be a long time, won't it, Nico? All right. Dejima <laughs> <laughs> smiles, but he looks straight in your eyes and doesn't seem to be joking, right? Right. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'll be like 40 by that point. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, 
Well, I mean, she's one thing is related. I mean, she's still my cousin, technically. So, uh, yeah, I don't think uh, we would do that. <laughs> Japan, though, no, we don't care about that here. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, if you think about everyone, yeah, still a lot of time for today. Why don't you go around Minima and see everyone who will miss you? Besides, I don't think you really had the whole peaceful town experience while you were here. You know, think about it. The case began shortly after you arrived. It finally ended a few months ago. Basically, all happened while you were here in Innova. I guess it was just a quirk of fate. Well, come on. I mean, you know about the TV world, right? And how we save the fucking day. <laughs> anyway, you should get going. We'll be going home, too. So who do I have left? You said goodbye to all the Weebly Fork. I'm sure to your house and prepare for tomorrow. I have the option not to. It was giving me an option, so let me just say no and see what happens. Maybe there's something around here I've missed. Man, I'm gonna go bomb with that crow finally. I'm just gonna do one quick run around and see if anything's actually like different. But... I guess, I guess I, damn it, did I miss, am I getting the true ending or did I miss it already? I don't. Might as well stop by the food court one last time. Oh, okay. The usual food court. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, there is something I missed. There you go. Three had spent so many afternoons going with the case over the case with everyone. Just sitting here brings back a lot of memories. Hey. Huh? What's up, man? What a coincidence! Oh, shit. oh! So you guys came here too! Sorry, I skipped over that. It must be destiny! It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow. But I was feeling too restless. So I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Hell yeah, let's have some more of Junez's crappy food and use, use Yosuke's discount. Well, hell yeah, all right, I'm good, I'm walked around. So, a little bonus scene, I guess. Ooh, let's have steak, steak, <coughs> and make Yosuke pay for everything. Yes. <laughs> Will you shut up about your steaks? <coughs> <laughs> The last time I'll probably ever hear this song. Crap, gonna miss it. Reminisce with the others. <laughs> hey, remember how that trash can look like Teddy? <laughs> You're right, it does look like me. Boo! I'm gonna cosplay as a trash can next year. You do that, Teddy. I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. I know, you're a fucking teddy bear. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. Seriously. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Yeah, we went through some pretty banana shit. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's still a lot of things we don't really understand about, like, how I got my powers and... Hello, Dachi got his powers. How oh, Tommy got his powers? I mean, I get how these guys got. I guess they got because of me, right? But how did I get? Now we're starting to ask questions about it, aren't we? Oh, this is it, isn't it? This. Oh, I bet this is it. So wait, wait. So wait, if I well, if I had chosen to go home, would this scene not have happened at all? Is that the, is that the the secret maybe? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. 
I'm, I might be jumping the gun here. Let me just. Huh. I wonder how it started then. Oh, we're totally. We're, we're gonna look at him at the origin of this thing. How come we never thought Who about knows? this? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. I uh, know. Isn't that what the, the spin-offs are all about? Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? Yeah. I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability. So that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV yes! even before anything happened to you? Why the hell is it taking us this long to fucking question this shit? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Yes! Yes! I wanted to know the answer to this. Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? Exactly. What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Why, though? There must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? You're the only exception. You have the power to enter TVs before your persona awaken. The same goes for Adachi Namatame. Remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave. Oh. A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. Are you serious? Wait, so she had a she got something at the door and then gave it to me? I didn't even it didn't even mention anything about it. The sender is listed as Adachi. Oh. Huh? This is from jail? What the hell? <laughs> what does that loser want? Hey, you wanna be pen pals? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> it's just one day of right back. It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. You suck! <clears throat> Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started. About that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town. Before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But, I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. Huh. So maybe when we enter the town, or just... Like, there's something in the, like... We... It's like Ghost Trick. We stepped over... There's a meteor underground. We stepped over... Kryptonite powers. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not. But I hope it can help somehow. Wow, well, thanks, Dashie, you crazy fuck. There's still more. When I'm here... I think of Dojima-san, Nanako-chan, and you. A lot. Though my time with you didn't seem like much fun before. It's strange. Don't use well-organized words and fold on a piece of stationary paper. Despite it all, I'm grateful to you. Thank you. But let me just say this. You're a dumbass. Uh -huh. You take the path you choose. And I'll think about what that means to me, too. <laughs> wow, thanks, Adachi. I hate you, too. I doubt I'll ever see you again. But stay healthy. <laughs> well, unless you, unless you buy the DLC for the new, new arena game. Goodbye. The letter ends there. You obtain Adachi's letter. You feel a definite bond between you and- Oh, here we go! Wow, about fucking time. 
Jeez. Wow, Don Jeter, we took your sweet fucking time. I was like, why are the hell is my the shit maxing out? Our time I'm now. Yeah, steps create Magatsu in Itsunagi. Oh, that's cool. So I can make the fan I can make bad evil Itsunagi. Oh yeah, sprinkle that evil glitter on my head. Tarodachi's finally reached maximum level. God, it took forever. Power to create Prisoner of the Hunger as we smack some. If we're buying that can't be broken? Question mark. <laughs> Now if you've Minigatsu eat Itsunagi, the tempter of the void. Wow, that's kind of cool, actually. So I guess I can get a, a Super Itsunagi, if it is uh, evil. So though, the things he wrote gnaw you. Who did you learn from about the Midnight Channel from? Hmm, it's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The midnight channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors. Then the serial murder. Followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate. They wouldn't fit together like this, right? My God, did fate ordain this? There has to be or some kind some of game developer? conductor behind everything. <laughs> I know. I must go to Atlas headquarters. <laughs> so you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head. N Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? Power TV is where everything about this case started. Learned about the Midnight Channel from Shea a few days ago after coming to this town when she told you the rumor. Oh, after coming to this town, she, okay. Yeah. But Dodge and I time I heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, it feels as if something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. What happened? Um, it's gonna be like Dojima or something, is it? It's gonna pull one of those things. I, well, I, I was at the train station and I met Dojima. Nanako. And then we drove to the house and we. Right? Wait, no. Wait, no, we, uh. I ran, oh, I ran to Marie! Maybe Marie has something to do with it again? That'd be kind of weird, right? Well, I don't know. I guess that could make sense. What she was talking about earlier, she can voices or something. So I ran to Mar Marie. Oh, wait, no. I also. We went to the gas station. We went to a gas station to get, uh, pump gas or whatever, right? Uh... Oh, and I, I got sick, didn't I? There was a point where I got, like, I got nauseous or whatever. Was it something at the gas station? God damn it, it's been so, it's been so long, I don't remember. I can't remember, like, something actually happened at the gas station that made me feel sick. Was I feeling sick when I got off the train? I just can't remember. I can't think of anything. No, there's something. I... We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. What the hell sick twisted game is this? Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme. Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us. The culprits. And maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. I'm gonna try the gas station. And the train station if I can't. I don't know if I can visit the train station. I know the gas station is in the central shopping district, but... We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. 
Let's go figure this out. Yeah. He gave me the initial spark for this power. The one he met immediately after coming to this town was my uncle Dejima. It was Nanako. <laughs> Nanako. Well, I did meet Dejima. In any case, you need to see them and confirm the truth. 